Hello guys! Are you studying the yes-no questions and vocabulary definitions in part 12 of the form N400? If so, this is exactly what you need. Most of the vocabulary in part 12 is tricky and complicated, but we make the word definitions short, simple, and easy for you, so you don't have a hard time remembering. Let's get started. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. What does the Constitution mean? It is the supreme law of the land. What does the form of government of the United States mean? Republic. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I do. Do you understand what Oath of Allegiance is? A promise to be loyal to the United States. Are you willing to take the full Oath of Allegiance to the United States? Are you willing to take the full Oath of Allegiance to the United States? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes, I'm willing to. What does bear arms mean? To own or use a gun. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes, I'm willing to. What are non-combatant services? Services that do not involve combat. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, I'm willing to. What is work of national importance? Tasks that are important to a nation. What does civilian mean? A person who is not in the military. Do you understand what civilian direction means? A direction from a person who is not in the military. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen in writing or any other way? Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen in writing or any other way? No. Please define claim for me. To say something is true. What does claim to be a U.S. citizen mean? To state you are a U.S. citizen. Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? 
Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. What does register mean? To sign up. Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Do you know what vote means? To elect new leaders. Do you now have or did you ever have a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? Do you now have or did you ever have a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? No. What is order of nobility? Like king or queen. Please define hereditary title. A royal title such as prince or princess. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No. Do you know what legally incompetent means? Having mental problems. What does declared mean? To be told something publicly. Can you explain what mental institution is? Hospital for people with mental problems. What does confined mean? To be kept in a place. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No. What is overdue? Past a deadline. What does O mean? To have a debt. What does O taxes mean? To owe the government money. Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No. What does it mean to file a tax return? To send tax paperwork to the government. Have you called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Have you called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No. What is non-U.S. resident? Not a U.S. resident. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States or in any other location in the world? 
Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States or in any other location in the world? No. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated either directly or indirectly with the Communist Party? Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated either directly or indirectly with the Communist Party? No. What does Communist Party mean? No freedom like China, North Korea. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated either directly or indirectly with any other totalitarian party? Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated either directly or indirectly with any other totalitarian party? No. What does totalitarian party mean? Governments control everything and people have no power. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated either directly or indirectly with a terrorist organization? Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated either directly or indirectly with a terrorist organization? No. What is a terrorist organization? An organization that uses violence against people. Have you ever advocated, either directly or indirectly, the overthrow of any government by force or violence? Have you ever advocated, either directly or indirectly, the overthrow of any government by force or violence? No. What does it mean to advocate? To support. Please define overthrow of a government. To remove a government from power. Have you ever persecuted either directly or indirectly any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? Have you ever persecuted either directly or indirectly any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? No. What does religion mean? A belief in God. Do you understand what national origin means? Where a person is from. What does persecute mean? To hurt someone badly. Between March 23, 1933 and May 8, 1945, did you work for or associate in any way with the Nazi government of Germany? Between March 23, 1933 and May 8, 1945, did you work for or associate in any way with the Nazi government of Germany? No. What does Nazi mean? The party under Hitler. 
Did you work for or associate in any way with any government in any area occupied by, allied with, or established with the help of the Nazi government of Germany? Did you work for or associate in any way with any government in any area occupied by, allied with, or established with the help of the Nazi government of Germany? No. Did you work for any German, Nazi, or SS military unit, paramilitary unit, self-defense unit, vigilante unit, citizen unit, police unit, government agency or office, Extermination camp, concentration camp, prisoner of war camp, prison, labor camp, or transit camp. Did you work for any German, Nazi, or SS military unit, paramilitary unit, self-defense unit, vigilante unit, citizen unit, police unit, government agency or office, extermination camp, concentration camp, prisoner of war camp, prison, labor camp, or transit camp? No. What is an extermination camp? A place to keep people before killing them. What is prisoner of war camp? A place to keep enemy soldiers. What is a SS military unit? An organization under the Nazi government. What does transit camp mean? A place to keep people temporarily. What does concentration camp mean? A place to keep prisoners of war. Were you ever involved in any way with genocide? Were you ever involved in any way with genocide? No. Do you know what genocide means? To kill a whole race. What does it mean to involve? To take part in. Were you ever involved in any way with torture? Were you ever involved in any way with torture? No. What does torture mean? To hurt someone physically. Were you ever involved in killing or trying to kill someone? Were you ever involved in killing or trying to kill someone? No. What does it mean to kill? To cause a death of a person. Were you ever involved in badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose? Were you ever involved in badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose? No. Were you ever involved in forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations? Were you ever involved in forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations? No. What is forcing sexual contact or relations? To touch someone's body when they don't want it. 
Were you ever involved in not letting someone practice his or her religion? Were you ever involved in not letting someone practice his or her religion? No. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in military unit? Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in military unit? No. What does participate mean? To be part of. Can you define military unit? A group that works for the government. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in paramilitary unit? Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in paramilitary unit? No. What is a paramilitary unit? Like a military group, but is not official. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in police unit? Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in police unit? No. What is a police unit? A group that protects the community. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in self-defense unit? Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in self-defense unit? No. What does self-defense unit mean? A group that protects a place. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in vigilante unit? Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in vigilante unit? No. What is a vigilante unit? A group acts like the police, but are not the police. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in rebel group? Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in rebel group? No. Do you understand what rebel group means? A group fights a government. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in guerrilla group? Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in guerrilla group? No. What does guerrilla group mean? A group uses weapons to attack the government. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in militia? Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in militia? No. 
Please define militia. An army does not work for a government. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in insurgent organization? Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in insurgent organization? No. What is an insurgent organization? A group fights a government. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in prison or jail? Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier? Or did you otherwise ever serve in prison or jail? No. Can you define prison or jail? A place where prisoners are kept. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in prison camp? Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in prison camp? No. What is a prison camp? A place to keep enemy soldiers. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve? In detention facility. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in detention facility? No. What is a detention facility? A place where people are forced to stay. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in labor camp? Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in labor camp? No. Do you know what labor camp is? A place to force people to work. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in any other place where people were forced to stay? Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in any other place where people were forced to stay? No. Were you ever a part of any group, or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? Were you ever a part of any group, or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? No. What does threaten mean? To want to hurt someone. What does weapon mean? Like a knife or gun. Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person or help another person sell, give, or provide weapons to any person. Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person, or help another person sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? No. Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, 
or weapons training. Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? No. What does weapons training mean? To learn how to use a gun. Did you ever recruit, enlist, conscript, or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? Did you ever recruit, enlist, conscript, or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? No. What does enlist mean? To sign up in the armed forces. Do you understand what conscript means? To require someone to join the army. What does it mean to recruit? To ask. Did you ever use any person under 15 years of age to do anything that helped or support people in combat? Did you ever use any person under 15 years of age to do anything that helped or support people in combat? No. What is combat? To fight in a war. Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? No. What does it mean to commit a crime? To do something that breaks the law. What does crime mean? An action that breaks the law. What does it mean to be arrested? Handcuffed by the police. What does offense mean? A minor crime. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer, including any immigration official or any official of the U.S. Armed Forces, for any reason? Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer, including any immigration official or any official of the U.S. Armed Forces? For any reason? No. What does detained mean? Held in custody by police. Do you understand what cited means? Given a ticket by the police. Have you ever been charged with committing, attempting to commit, or assisting in committing a crime or offense? Have you ever been charged with committing, attempting to commit, or assisting in committing a crime or offense? No. Can you define charged? Police tell you that you did something illegal. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? No. What does it mean to be convicted? To be found guilty of a crime. 
Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or rehabilitative program? For example, diversion, deferred prosecution, withheld adjudication, deferred adjudication. Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or rehabilitative program? For example, diversion, deferred prosecution, withheld adjudication, deferred adjudication. No. What is rehabilitative program? A program to help someone to restore health. What does deferred prosecution or deferred adjudication mean? Such as community service. What does alternative sentencing mean? A different way to punish someone. What is withheld adjudication? Like a second chance. What does diversion mean? A different program to avoid jail time. Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation, or been paroled? Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation, or been paroled? No. What does parole mean? The early release of a prisoner. Please define probation. To report to an officer regularly instead of jail time. What is sentence? A punishment under the law. What does suspended sentence mean? Delaying a sentence. Have you ever been in jail or prison? Have you ever been in jail or prison? No. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No. What is a habitual drunkard? Someone who drinks too much alcohol regularly. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No. What is a prostitute? Someone who has sex for money. What does it mean to procure? To find someone for sex. Have you ever sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? Have you ever sold or smuggled controlled substances? illegal drugs, or narcotics? No. What does controlled substances mean? You can buy it with a prescription, but with restrictions. Do you understand what smuggle means? To take things to a country illegally. Do you know what illegal drugs or narcotics means? Like heroin or cocaine. Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? 
Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? No. Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? No. What does it mean to obtain? To get something. What does immigration benefit mean? Things like a visa, green card, or citizenship. Have you ever helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally? Have you ever helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally? No. Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? No. What does gamble mean? To play a game for money. Have you ever failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? Have you ever failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? No. What does pay alimony mean? To pay money to an ex spouse after a divorce. What is a dependent? Someone who relies on another person. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. Do you understand what misrepresentation is? To lie or give wrong information. What does public benefit mean? Welfare like food stamps. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No. What does fraudulent mean? To claim something that is not true. Do you know what false means? Not true. What is misleading? To give a wrong idea. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? No. What does it mean to lie? To say something that is not true. What does admission into the United States mean? The right to enter the United States. 
Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No. Can you define exclude? To prevent from entering the United States. What does it mean to deport? To force a person to leave a country. Have you ever been ordered, removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been ordered, removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No. Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? No. What are deportation proceedings? Process of removing a person. What does rescission mean? To take back a decision. Are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings, including administrative close proceedings, currently pending against you? Are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings, including administrative close proceedings, currently pending against you? No. Do you know what pending means? Waiting to happen. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. What does U.S. Armed Forces mean? U.S. Military, Navy, Air Force. Are you currently a member of the U.S. Armed Forces? Are you currently a member of the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Have you ever been court-martialed, administratively separated, or disciplined, or have you received an other-than-honorable discharge while in the U.S. Armed Forces? Have you ever been court-martialed, administratively separated, or disciplined, or have you received an other-than-honorable discharge while in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. What does disciplined mean? To be punished for doing something wrong. What does court-martialed mean? To go to military court. What is discharge? A soldier leaves the military. Have you ever been discharged from training or service in the U.S. Armed Forces because you were an alien? Have you ever been discharged from training or service in the U.S. Armed Forces because you were an alien? No. What is an alien? Not a U.S. citizen. Have you ever left the United States to avoid being drafted in the U.S. Armed Forces? 
Have you ever left the United States to avoid being drafted in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Please define drafted. Being selected as a soldier. What does it mean to avoid being drafted? To prevent being selected as a soldier. Have you ever applied for any kind of exemption from military service in the U.S. Armed Forces? Have you ever applied for any kind of exemption from military service in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. What is an exemption? Special permission not to do something. Have you ever deserted from the U.S. Armed Forces? Have you ever deserted from the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Can you define deserted? To abandon. Are you a male who lived in the United States at any time between your 18th and 26th birthdays? Are you a male who lived in the United States at any time between your 18th and 26th birthdays? No. Did you ever register for the Selective Service? Did you ever register for the Selective Service? No. What is Selective Service? Services in Armed Forces Under Law.